Hi guys, this is Aisha Joshi and again we are here with a brand new session that is the criminalization of politics in India. So today we are going to talk about the criminalization of politics in basically, especially in India. So why we are taking this section, we, why we are talking about this type of session, why and what is the reason of criminalization, what is basically political criminalization and what are the key factors of it, we are going to discuss all these things in this particular section. So let's have a look, the first thing is, that is what is the meaning of criminalization of politics. Okay, criminalization is such a very uh, big word, I mean huge deal we are going to do it. So why we are using this word in politics? So basically, uh, it is happening in our country. As you can see, the most of the political leaders are consisting from some uh, criminalized group or something else. Okay. So here we are going to discuss about this topic. Criminalization of politics means that the criminals entering the politics and contesting elections and even the most important thing is they are getting elected to the parliament and state legislature. So particularly they are entering in the politics this is a big thing and after that the most uh, important thing is they are getting selected in it okay we are electing a leader as a political leader and they are the criminalized persons so uh, this is the criminalization of politics that under politics the criminals are coming entering in it and uh, getting elected in parliaments or state legislature and parliament and state legislatures are the biggest authorities of our government and they are running our whole state or a whole country we can see so if the higher authorities that are running or conducting are all the activities governing activities in that particular section we have the leaders that are criminals or they are consisting through the criminal activities so what is criminalization this is the persons entering criminal persons that are entering in politics and even getting elected in parliament and state legislatures it take place primarily because of the nexus between the criminal okay why it is happening so because of the nexus between the criminals and some of the politicians so they basically the thing is criminals want the patronage of politicians because they want to occupy the public offices to continue with their criminal activity they want to do the criminal activities but for that they want some legal authority so that no one can point out them okay and for this purpose the uh, politician politicians are doing cr crimes under the patronage of political or governing offices okay and the muscle power that the criminals can offer to the politicians to win elections in course of time the nexus led the criminals themselves to contest elections so if the person is criminal and he is not eligible to enter in politics whatever it is then the person is using the most of the politicians what they are doing they are uh, just choosing a person who is re the representative of their particular criminalized parties so he is getting elected the criminalized person is uh, taking up a person who is getting elected but he is belonging to a, some criminal party or criminal politicians so he is making a political atmosphere and through that particular activities political session or we can see our gaining system is totally going to become a criminal stage okay so let's have a point that is criminalization of politics in india let's take a discussion about why we are talking the criminalization in india and where it is happening and why it is happening and what are the reasons that india is suffering with this problem so in India, it is now a new phenomenon. The first instance of booth capturing were reported in 1950. So here it is a procedure. Uh, let me know you something that uh, the booth capturing is a procedure by which the person who is a criminal is uh, going to start entering in elections or going to uh, capture a booth so that people of that particular area or section can vote only that particular person. 
no one can vote any other person who is from other party whether he is of a good governing a good governing party or not but they want their votes criminal wants their vote because they want to lead the particular section or they want the patronage of government officials okay so the first instance was uh, uh, done booth capturing was reported in 1957 and involved higher goon goons who would mobilize or suppress turnout or vote on behalf of disenfranchised voters in return for their work politicians would protect their criminals from prosecution so what politicians are doing they are protecting their criminal minded peoples or the criminals who are supporting them in politics so politics belongs to those persons who are using the uh, official government or officials or law practices they are using all these things for their criminal activities so politicians want to make their own uh well uh, values or own uh, i can say seats at all and for that they are using the criminals to support them and criminals use those politicians or government officials to run up their criminal activities in some you know patronage of government officials okay so until the late 1960s the reelection rates of recumbents were high hence goons were relatively assured of political favors after they helped a politician win the elections as political competition increased the uncertainty around re-elections of incumbent candidates also increased this led to the entry of criminals in the politics in order to maximize control over their own survival and protection so to control their own survival and protection the criminals and started entering in the politics okay as the powers the authorities of seats are increasing the criminals are getting attracted with those seats because they are getting up in their mind that if we will get this that particular seat we will get the power and particular separations of power okay so if we will get the seats and positions in powers we will be able to do more criminal activities and no one will be there to point out us so this is the mentality of criminals to enter in the politics okay so indira gandhi banning uh, corporate uh, corporate financing of elections in 1969 which eliminated the most important legal source of campaigning finance and post financing underground so financing was totally underground because of that activity of indira gandhi at the same time the cost of contesting elections kept increasing so if you uh, at that time if a person want to enter in elections then he have to give a huge amount it means the uh, elections fee or we can say the cost of elections were getting increased okay due to a rising population increasing political uh, competition the number of political parties increased from 55 in 19 it was 55 in 1952 but in general election of 2014 it was 464 the continuous increase in the political parties and the trend of giving freebies for votes so this is the procedure that is continuously helping the persons to get criminal persons to get post and powers in politicals and the what the politicians are doing they are giving the patronage to all those criminals and criminals are taking patronage of that particular official for on and both of the uh, officials or the persons are doing their activities for their particular interest so ultimately what is going on ultimately government or political leaders are doing their uh, interest and they are working for their own interest for criminals are doing for their own interest ultimately we the general peoples are going to suffer this a lot and we are facing this at present also so uh, here it is a thing that what we can do to decrease the this rate okay so here we can you can see this is a picture 
where the persons the all the persons that are surrounded with a politician are supporting a politician for what because of their criminal activities they all are doing criminal activities in the patronage of a leader so this picture is an appropriate picture of debashish dev to so should to, to show that what is happening what is the pre, basically criminal pot, politicization so criminalization of politics is this only okay so what is the key facts 17% of the 5380 candidates contesting the lok sabha election 2014 have declared criminal charges in their affidavit submits okay so here what it is in 2014 when lok sabha elections were going to elect uh, held the there were 5380 candidates who were contesting in it and uh, from those candidates 17% of candidates have their affidavits and in that affidavits they are showing that they are criminals they have criminal charges on them okay 10% have declared serious criminal charges such as murder and rape charges so is this a good platform even i i had heard and uh, i shouldn't discuss here at this moment and this type of topic but here it is a thing that i had heard that most of the criminals used to say like yeah if we want to grow up or if we want to uh, rise up then we should join the politics and if we can't go anywhere there will be only a way that way where we can go and where we can get the powers or uh, we can we can get everything that is politics so they have the conceptual mind that we are established in that particular area no one can point out at us and no one can take it take out of us from that particular field okay so what are the reasons of it what why is the criminalization is con- continuously or i can say constantly increasing why it is continuously getting up or the ratio of this getting up or why this uh, particular section is continuously getting criminalized so what are the reasons of it it the first topic is the first reason is that is corruption obviously corruption is going up we are uh, the, every individual is going to do everything even we are criminals we are increasing the criminalization and uh, now the question raised in your mind is how we are the reason of it then we are the reason of it because we are living with such particular mentality such as religionism casteism secularism and basically secularism is a point that we that should be used in a proper way but we are not poly- criminals are not using it okay and they are giving us a point to do these type of activities criminal activities okay so the second point is criminality or and uh, vulnerability so this is the thing that criminal if you have the criminal uh, uh, you know uh, seeds in yourself or you want to win yourself then you will go through some criminal activities or some type of negative activities and this will be the reason of your criminalization activities okay you that you are going to be a criminal because you are doing some criminal activities so why you are doing all these activities criminal activities the reason behind this that you want to win that you want to take powers that you want to show your presence at all now the third reason is vote bank definitely if some type of gundas or you know some type of persons that they want to get, take some vote banks they are you know capturing the booths they are capturing booths they are going through all these particular social areas and uh, giving you know uh, ultimatums or something like that they are threatening the people to vote for some criminal person or for some particular person then this is the criminalization if they are supporting some good person but if they are this the if they are uh, swallowing this type of procedure then they are definitely doing criminalization and this is the reason why we are going through the criminalization in politics okay and uh, politics is the basic thing that we are going on today in today's world we are living in a democratic india and democratic india it means the persons who are 
suffering with politics who are living with politics who are going through with politics and the only source of it is it is government and politics if politics is going to be criminalized how we will survive it is a big thing if it the criminal criminalization of uh, politics is going through on this level on this percentage how our generations coming generations will going to survive and how they will going to illustrate the politics or criminalization i don't know but this is a very serious point that we are discussing today and now uh, let's take a view of fourth point fourth reason that why criminalization of politics is going on or politics is going criminalized so uh, denial of justice and rule of law the voters political parties and the law and order machinery of the states are all equally responsible for this there is very little faith in india in the efficiency of the democratic process is actually delivering good governance this extends of ex- uh, accepting criminalization of politics as a fact of life toothless laws against convicted criminals standing for elections further encourage this process under current law only people who have been vic- convicted as least on two counts be debarred from becoming candidates this leaves the field open for charge sheets criminals and many of whom are habitual offending offenders or history sheeters so is uh, basically when when i think about it now when i go when i read about this topic i was so confused i was so tensed and i was so depressed that is it right are we going in a right way it is the way how we can i mean how we are going through it is the way uh, are we in this position we are in this position you know that we need to change our political system or governing system at all and we have to change it at its 100% level the reason behind this that if we are going through this system only can we survive for a long time or our generations will be safe no the corruption will going to be raised and raised and raised continuously and this will not be a good indicator of good governing country so uh, let's have a look the next reason for this uh, criminalization this is lack of governance the root of the problems lies in the country's poor governance capacity if governing system is low then they are electing the uh, they are uh, selecting the wrong candidates the persons who are getting uh, selected for elections are basically criminals and if the governing system is selecting those candidates then we can't claim the, those candidates because they are not wrong they have a good option and the governance is already giving them option so they are not wrong at all on the one hand india has expressive sorry ex- uh, excessive procedures to that allow the bureaucracy to insert itself in the ordinary life of people on the other hand it appears woefully and stuffed to perform its most crucial functions this is the lack of governance and because of lack of governance criminalization is totally increasing yes. then next is scarcity of state capacity so the state cap- capacity is the basic reason behind this the state capacity is the reason for the public preferring strong men who can employ the required pulls and triggers to that get things done someone we can enforce contracts deals with the police when they get in trouble and handle the government babus while procuring a license or help get admission to a government hospital for treatment so it is a thing if we are going to some hospital or something else we are trying to approach a person who can do our best okay uh, who can take our uh, you know matter easily who can take our matter on priority so why we are doing so all those uh, you know patients or persons that are there before us are they 
doing some time pass or something else there no the reason behind this we are approaching the things we are going to be the on the first position and everyone wants to be the first but it is practically not possible in this world okay so uh, let's take a next view of it kyon pareshan hote हो जाओ तुम्हारा वोट तो हमने पढ़वा दिया ओके या दिस इज द इरफान्स पोस्ट एंड दिस इज द कार्टून यू नो दैट शोज दैट अ पॉलिटिकल लीडर इज सेइंग दैट अ पर्सन हु इज हेयर फॉर वोट और टू गिव द वोट फॉर हु इज द हेयर फॉर द इलेक्शंस एंड ही लेट ही इज गेटिंग टू नो दैट हिज वोट हैज ऑलरेडी बीन डन इट इज या इट इज हैपनिंग it is happening i saw it myself that particular pe- peoples or the particular politicians are doing this on this platform and they are definitely doing it wrong this is called the booth capturing they are captured the, they are capturing the booth and getting you misusing the votes and in that particular procedure politicians or the political parties or election commission they all are helping them because without government officials helps and without the police officials helps because they have so many security on elections and after being this type of securities how a booth got captured with criminals so this is the question now the answer is yes they all are supporting criminals and because of that support we can say we are getting criminalized politics is getting criminalized and pol- if politics is getting criminalized our governing system is totally criminalized and if we are going through criminalization by this number of ratio then we can say then we as soon as possible we will be a country that is the re- on the ratio of 100% on a particular topic that is criminalization or criminal criminalized country we will be called as a criminalized country in just few years at all okay so let's uh, let's take a next one suggested measures to curb criminalization of politics okay bringing greater transparency yeah basically what we can do what we can do to remove this criminalization how we can stop this criminalization so these are the points bringing great, greater transparency so here it is a point that transparency is compulsory we have to transparent we have to go through campaigns we have to go, go through peoples we have to aware the peoples about transparency and we have to make a policy that will work on transparency of particular section okay so the next one is election election commission of india so ECI Election Commission of India should have the power to audit the financial account of political parties or political parties finances should be brought under the right to information RTI okay here it is a thing that if a political party is doing expenditures a lot of expenditures he, uh, i mean the political party is spending uh, spending a money at a lot of level or the highest peak then or or not they are uh, investing some amount of some amount or a lot amount but these type of matters should be done by rti law the these type of matter should be undertaken in eci election commission of india they have they should have the power to audit the financial accounts of political parties okay and this should be con- it it should be done by the rti act rti law only so it is compulsory to go through the right to information act okay the next one is broader governance will have to prove the, for voters to reduce the reliance on criminal politicians okay yeah it is the fact that uh, voters have to we will have to improve the voters to reduce the reliance on criminal politicians we are supporting the criminals we are supporting the criminal politicians why because they are using their own you know uh, politics they are using they are saying that they will do this for us they will do this for us and for our basic needs fulfillment we are following those politicians so it is wrong basically we should go through that and governance should go through that okay the next thing is fast uh, fast track courts are necessary yeah 
फास्ट ट्रैक बिकॉज द यूजल कोर्ट्स आर टेकिंग टू मच टाइम टू डू अ पर्टिकुलर टू वर्क ऑन अ पर्टिकुलर केस और पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन सो इफ दे विल गेट टू मच टाइम ऑन इट देन हाउ विल द गवर्निंग सिस्टम वर्क ऑन इट ओके द पेंडिंग सेशन आई मीन इंडियन गवर्निंग सिस्टम और इंडियन कोर्ट सिस्टम और लॉ मेकिंग सिस्टम और समथिंग एल्स इज सच अ वेरी टाइम टेकिंग प्रोसीजर सो वी शुड टेक फॉर सम फास्ट ट्रैक कोर्ट्स ऑन इस ओके द नेक्स्ट वन इज द इलेक्शन कमीशन मस्ट टेक एडिकुएट मेजर्स टू ब्रेक द नेक्स बिटवीन द क्रिमिनल्स एंड पॉलिटिशियंस या द बेसिक थिंग इज लिंक बिटवीन पॉलिटिशियंस एंड इलेक्ट्री सॉरी क्रिमिनल्स so criminals and politicians are getting linked and because of that link the politicians are also getting criminalized and this criminalization will affect the governing system and government's governing system is affecting the local communities or the particular peoples or the social communities of our country so we have the we have to remove the base root of it that is the election commission uh that is the link between the criminals and politician and it could be done by election commission only because it they are only the authorized authority for this particular uh, you know the uh, particular work or section i can say the forms prescribed by the election commission for candidates disclosing their convenience okay yeah it is uh, not a basic, basically not a important point we can you can go through it only now the next thing what we are going to the conclusion about it the conclusion is the need for cleansing politics for criminal influence has been flagged once again we need to work on it we need to flag against the criminal influence we have to work on it we have to clean our political system if political system will be cleaned criminalization will be low or removed if criminalization will be removed the criminals will be removed then our country will definitely be a clean and transparent country at all the next thing is primary sacrifice at the altar of criminalization is that of governance along with transparency and that's what i had already discussed transparency and accountability and it will be only be done after cleansing the political system after cleaning the criminal influence okay the next one is expensive election com- campaign favors candidates with strong financial background such candidates when elected seeks to recover their expenses besides securing a corpus of the for the future election as equal uh, quickly as possible especially in the era of coalition govern- governments with uh, tenuous stability yeah here it is a point we should we have to change on it by increasing the amount of uh, elections here i am adding adding my own point point of view by uh, increasing the amount or cost of elections is not the ultimate source we can't go through that we have to change the policies by increasing the all these things we have to increase the eligibility of particular candidate or the eligibility criteria or the selection procedure of that particular candidate so that we can identify that the person we are going to elect is a criminal or not okay so this is the conclusion of it that's why we have done all these things and yeah it is the next uh, picture next uh, the, you know the story we can see in this particular one picture the whole story the whole system is going to be cleared in this particular picture see the politic politician who is using the politics with casteism okay according to casteism we are going to elect a person in politics that will be a politician soon and by getting the seat or being a politician he is using the social causes and social causes are not the actual thing this is on the feet of politician yeah this picture is absolutely right the social causes social issues are just at the feet of politicians only they are not working on it so this was the section of mine today and i uh, hope it will be helpful in your exam and i uh, hope uh, you will be giving me the best uh, you know best reasons for this particular section and i want your views in comment box so thanks a lot we'll meet you soon